Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I've got another pickups video for you here. It was a pretty interesting day. I actually got a lot of neat stuff here. Um, some NES titles, a couple of controllers, and uh, a box system as well. So I'll get started on all this right now. Uh, one of the first places that I stopped at was a Goodwill. And I picked up um, an item which is actually my first item, but I'm gonna show it last because it's probably the best item of the day. So basically it was my first find but it is my best find. So I'm gonna to get to that at the end. Um, next part I went to was Valley Village and I found in the electronic section a boxed um, Sony PlayStation 1 controller. Now, of course, I can't imagine this is too overly valuable. I mean, it's not the DualShock or anything like that. It's just the box is cool for display and things like that. There is a controller in here, uh, but there's no like manuals or anything like that so I don't know actually what originally came in this box but um, as far as that goes um, really I was just after the box which is kind of weird uh, for the price I paid for it but for it I paid five dollars uh, it did come with one of these controllers which you know it's pretty cool um, it needs to be cleaned up and stuff like that I'll probably have no use for this particular controller though but still um, with the box and stuff like that I'll take uh, really legit uh, one that's cleaned up and super nice and I'll put that in there and put that on display so that's kind of cool there um, what I paid for that one was five dollars so I figured I would pick that up uh, moving on I also stopped in at another value village uh, nearby there wasn't a whole lot there and they're really overpricing their games I mean they have like super common titles uh, for ten dollars each which is above and beyond what you'd pay for those titles on eBay even with shipping even where I'm at where shipping is getting ridiculous um, it's just not even worth it to buy those games that they have there I don't even know what they're thinking uh, but they're putting every single game that's like a retro um, you know cartridge type game they're putting them out there for ten dollars each and then when they're finding something that's even like more valuable they're putting it they're putting prices like twenty dollars on it so for instance they had um, one of the Legend of Zelda games for Game Boy I think it was like a ten dollar um, game they wanted 20 for it it's getting ridiculous to even think of going there but I do check their electronic section I'm glad I did because uh, I walked out with a blue um, and I know it doesn't really look blue there necessarily but a blue controller for the original Xbox and I'll open this up uh, you know it's in really good shape it looks to me this needs to be cleaned up obviously like everything else uh, that I find in these shops but it seems to be in pretty decent shape, just a little bit dusty and stuff like that. Uh, pretty cool. I know that these go for a little bit of cash. And the joysticks and stuff like that and the buttons are really great. So it's actually probably in better shape minus the dust and stuff on it than the other controllers that I do have. So that's pretty cool right there. And it's nice to get these colored uh, controllers. Otherwise, I wouldn't really pick up original Xbox controllers that frequently. Um, even though one of the ones that I have definitely needs to be replaced. Uh, that'll be a nice... Um, replacement for that and that one there was three dollars which I was more than happy to pay for um, a blue Xbox controller so that was the sort of controller finds of everything and not really that impressive but uh, moving on I can't even decide which things I want to show you first but I think I'll go into the NES games that I found here um, I went to a Goodwill it's half price day and you don't really expect much to find much on a half price day but I got a pretty good little score of NES games here. Nothing uh, super rare or valuable, but for the price it was definitely worth it. So um, each of these were priced for $3, of course it makes them $1.50. So for $1.50 I picked up Top Gun, Ice Hockey, and these are all the doubles I already have um, other like versions of this. This one here actually has something really gross on the back of it. I don't even know what that is, it might even be like... So I don't know if that'll come off or what, but still for $1.50, it's pretty good. Blades of Steel, this one's in really great condition actually. Um, even for $1.50, that label on the back would be an excellent upgrade for another cartridge of mine. NES Play Action Football, I believe I already have this in my collection, I'll have to check. But again, in excellent condition. 
for $1.50. 10 yard fight for $1.50. Also, uh, the backing is a little bit scratched up, but it's pretty decent nonetheless. Then you have baseball, the black label type version of it. Uh, not a five screw. I don't know if this one ever came in five screw. You can let me know, but uh, still pretty cool. I think I have that already though. Another game I know I have for sure, but I think this one might be a label upgrade. Perhaps, I'm not totally certain, is Commando. And again, $1.50. Uh, moving on from that, one I didn't have in my collection, so the ones I'm showing you now are not in my collection, but they will be shortly, uh, is Tag Team Wrestling. Again, for $1.50. Another one that I did not have in my collection is Ultimate Air Combat. Never even heard of this title before, so it's kind of interesting. This one here has some uh, rental stickers and stuff like that on it, but that's okay. I'll be able to get that off easily with a hairdryer. Um, the next one here is Defender of the Crown. Unfortunately, uh, the label on that one has a little nick in the front of it, but it's pretty good nonetheless, and I'll definitely be able to clean that up, and I didn't have this one already. And then finally, and in really great shape, which is awesome, is uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms. And so that one was also $1.50. So basically for that entire stack of 11 NES games, I paid $16.50, which I think is an amazing deal. And like I said, um, these four titles I didn't have already. And with these titles, you know, I'll be able to either replace ones that I need to or uh, recoup my cost, I think, quite easily with that. So really awesome right there. Uh, moving on, this was the first find of the day I walked into a Goodwill. This wasn't half price because it's not a game. It's a box system, which is a Sega Genesis Model 1. Uh, pretty cool. I paid $12.01 for this, so kind of neat for sure. Um, there is a few like wear marks on it. It's definitely not in the world's perfect shape, but I have seen worse, that's for sure. Uh, there is a rip right in the top, which is kind of a bummer. And uh, at the bottom, someone has cut off the, you know, the, the code here or whatever, the barcode that would be on the bottom of that. But otherwise, um, pretty decent shape. What I'll do is I'll actually set this down and uh, show you the contents that are inside because it's pretty awesome uh, what's in here. And for $12.01, I mean, you can barely pick up a loose system for that. So really cool. I'll get into that right now. Okay, so you can see the system right here. Um, obviously there's like, you know, a little bit of wear along here and, you know, along these edges and stuff like that. So definitely not perfect. Like I was saying before, um, there's that sort of ripped up part on the top there, kind of a bummer. And I know that this tab here or one of the tabs, this part of the tab right here is actually, uh, broken off as well. So that's not totally perfect, but, uh, it's still pretty in pretty good shape. Like I was saying, that part's been cut off and there's some wear obvious signs on the bottom of this. But uh, I'll open this up and you can kind of get a good idea what's going on here. Okay, so here we go. Um, just a little nick, I guess, out of the uh, styrofoam on the inside. Just like the rest of this, just a little bit of wear, but not too bad. Here's the system and they've actually went inside and marked that on there. So I bet you a lot of the damage that actually occurred probably was when they were messing around with it because they don't really handle these things well. It's pretty dusty. I haven't tested it to see that it works. Really doesn't matter to me if it does. I have lots of systems that can go in here if it doesn't. Um, it also comes along with a, what I can see as a sort of third party kind of controller. I've never seen, like obviously it's Sega Genesis and it says Dash 8. Don't know a lot about this controller. Uh, kind of interesting though, it has like a slow button on the back, sort of an interesting controller. I'm pretty sure that this did not come with this system originally, so kind of interesting. I don't know totally uh, if this is a Sega product, I don't think that it is, but it definitely looks like a Genesis controller, that's for sure. Uh, moving on, there's a whole bunch of baggies in here which belongs to all this stuff, so this is the way that it kind of came, it was all opened up. Um, so I'll have to put sort of rewrap everything, but that's not a big deal. And then it has the instruction manual, which is really nice to uh, be able to get that. So that's pretty sweet. Comes with a power supply, the uh, connector for like old, old style TVs with the two prongs in the back. I don't know if my younger viewers would even recognize something like that. Uh, you would hook that, like a wire into that, and then that goes into the back of your TV. Um, 
I vaguely remember that. I mean, that was a long time ago. Um, and then you also have this, which means you could attach, if you needed to or whatever, you attach those prongs onto this part. You could plug that into the back of your television. So it comes with that, obviously, when the person got this, they didn't even use it because both of those pieces are still in their bags. So that was everything that was in the, um, the Genesis console or whatever the box here so i thought that was a pretty good deal you let me you let me know what you guys think all right so that was the uh opening of the box sega genesis that i found today pretty awesome right there i'm really happy uh, to get that system because i didn't have a box genesis yet and ones that i've seen previously um have all been in value villages and they wanted like upwards of 70 dollars for them which i think is ridiculous but of course some people obviously don't think that's ridiculous because i went back and that system is no longer there, so somebody must have bought it. But um, I'm pretty happy to pick that one up for $12.01, let me tell you. And I'm really going to uh, enjoy that as part of the collection, that's for sure. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.